Hello and welcome. This is Bob Lessig in the Center for Biotechnology Education at Johns Hopkins University. I'd like to give a short demo on how to use MEGA software. MEGA is a software that's used for generating phylogenetic trees from DNA or protein sequences. MEGA is a free download for educational purposes. At the address megasoftware.net, you see that MEGA stands for Molecular Evolutionary Genetics Analysis. And it's available for both Windows and Mac. When I say that it's a standalone program, it means that as long as you have the sequences, you don't need a web connection or a web server to run MEGA. And you'll see that there are many options for both distance methods and for phylogenetic trees. Here is the MEGA window, and it looks pretty blank. You see it says MEGA 7.0.14, which is the current version as of March 2016. And the first thing we need are sequences to run. So we have to start with an alignment. You see alignment is in the, the left corner window. And I'm going to click alignment, and you have some options. One of them is to edit or build an alignment, and, and that's what we're going to do. And we're going to create a new alignment and it's going to be protein sequences. Okay, now here are the protein sequences and the address is bioinfbook.org. This is a web document that accompanies the textbook Bioinformatics and Functional Genomics, the third edition by Jonathan Pevsner. And these are hemoglobin sequences or, or globin sequences from different organisms and I'm going to copy those. And I'm going to go back to Mega. And you see this window, and it's not really obvious right away where to paste it, but you can, in that big window, just click Control V or Command V, I guess, if you're on a Macintosh. And you see that you've got the sequences, and if you scroll over, you see that there are the different letters for the different amino acids. There are 13 sequences and you can see the names of them here on the left. The first thing we need to do is a multiple sequence alignment. And the way to do that is to click alignment. And you've got two options. One is Clustal W, the other is Muscle. You see the W for Clustal W. You see the Muscle icon for Align by Muscle. In general, Muscle is a better aligner than Clustal W. So we will align by Muscle. Now, anything that is in yellow is a changeable option, and we're going to stick with the default. But if I wanted to say switch from a clustering method like UPMGB, I have a pull-down window, and you see that I could also use neighbor joining methods or other methodologies to do that. Uh, I could also change my gap penalties, but I'm going to just go ahead and let it go on the default settings. Now you notice that there are gaps in the sequence, so the alignment is done. And if the alignment is done correctly, there should be gaps in different places along the sequences. Now the important step that might not be intuitive to mega users is that this alignment has to be exported. So I'm going to click Data, and then Export Alignment, and I'm going to save it in mega format. Okay. And going to call this, uh, you see I've already saved it just globins, so I'm going to resave it there and just replace it, uh, globins, okay, let's look at so li my alignment is now done, and I'm going to show two different methodologies, one is distance methods, and that shows you how far apart each of the sequences are from each other, it measures pairwise distances, so I'm going to compute pairwise distance, I'm going to select that globins file. Okay, so now I have my preferences, and the one that's often changed is whether you're using the Poisson model or the P distance. I'll show the Poisson model first, and I'll hit compute. And you notice what you see are the amount of substitutions there are between two different sequences. So you notice the two myoglobins, number one and number two, are very, very close. They're 0.184, so the average of 0.184 substitutions. 
Whereas some of the sequences, uh, I think Globin soybean and uh, myoglobin from the gray seal are over, are over two. So that means that there are more differences in sequence with the bigger numbers. So the smaller numbers means those sequences are closer together or have a more recent common ancestor. Now quickly, I could have done that also using the p distance, which would sit that would simply give me slightly different numbers. The Poisson correction usually is a, a good correction to use on data like this. So that's why it's the default. Okay, now distance phylogeny methods take advantage of that to build their trees. So I'm gonna now go to phylogeny to build a tree. Okay, under phylogeny there are different tree building methods and it would be a whole other topic for me to explain the difference. The distance methods are neighbor joining and UPGMA. There's also the character methods, maximum likelihood and maximum parsimony. And there's also the minimum evolution tree. We're going to use UPGMA, which is one of the distance methods. So that's going to be based on the numbers we just saw. And yes, I'll use the currently active data. And I will use a Poisson model. So I'll go back to the default here. And compute. And what you see is that it builds a phylogenetic tree. And notice that those two myoglobins from the porpoise and the seal are the ones that are very, very close together in the tree. Now, a different method may have given a slightly different tree. I will try maximum parsimony using the default settings. Good thing to notice is that the gray seal and porpoise myoglobin are still close together. And I think this looks pretty similar to the tree that we just saw. So that's my quick look on how to use MEGA. Just a few reminders. Always do the multiple alignment first. And remember to export that alignment in MEGA format. That's important before you use the distance methods or the tree building methods. Then run distance methods using the alignment. Remember, anything in yellow is a default parameter, so you can change, for instance, between Poisson correction and p-distance. And you can also run phylogenetic trees, and you have a choice of methods. There are five basic methods that are incorporated into Mega. So good luck building trees.